Now then, I do, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this. The new concept Mark IV fret saw, and we're going to be asking the question, is it really worth the money that they're asking for it? So if you want to find out more, stick around until after the intro. So before I get into any more specifics, I need to say that I bought this fret saw from Classic Hand Tools and that with the blades that came with it and an extra pack of blades and delivery, it came to £132.50, I think. So it's the best part of £150 for a fret saw. When you consider you can get a normal fret saw for about a fiver or tenner and you can get a good one for 20 quid, that seems quite expensive. And it didn't arrive in any fancy packaging either. The fret saw, along with the instructions, were just in a sealed plastic bag in a nondescript cardboard box. Right, so, starting off, let's take a look at the fit and finish of this. Looking at the saw on a macro scale, it looks quite nice. It's got a really nice shiny red finish. It's got a big New Concepts logo. A nice wood handle, the fit of the parts is all quite nice. Unfortunately, with the Mark IV, they've decided to powder coat the finish rather than anodize it. So yes, it's nice and shiny, it looks great whilst it's new, but anodizing makes a lot more sense because it's harder wearing and offers a lot more protection. It's basically an oxidized layer of deliberately corroded aluminium on the surface. So it is as hard as the aluminium whereas powder coating doesn't come anywhere close to that. The anodizing can be scratched, but powder coating can chip, and when it does, it's pretty much unrepairable without sandblasting and recoating. New concepts claim that this powder coating is extremely resistant to scratching and chipping, and that is true when you compare it to paint, but the toughness of powder coating falls well short when you compare it to the toughness of anodizing. I personally think that this also looks cheap in comparison. You know, it's a, a semi-glossy finish, but it's not particularly smooth either, so it, it just lacks a bit of quality, I think. Next, where this space frame has been milled out on the CNC machine, if you, if I can bring this into focus, how close can I get? So hopefully there, you can see that underneath the powder coating, there's still tooling and machine marks that haven't been filed or ground away. And that's the same all around here and in all of these cutouts. So they're not smooth and there is very obvious, you know, these aren't faint marks. You can actually feel a ridged surface where the, mach where the machining hasn't been completed properly. Now, that might not make a difference to you, but when you're paying the amount of money that they're charging for this, I think it is completely unacceptable. Also, the blade tension screw is a different material to the blade clamping screw here, and neither require a massive amount of wear resistance, so I can't really see a reason for it off the cuff. If you know why they've done this, let me know, please. I think it just looks odd. Overall, with the look of the saw, I'd say that I'm very disappointed given the price. Now, if you compare this to the deluxe brace from Workshop Heaven, there is a significant difference. Now, a really good quality brace you can get for maybe £40. Workshop Heaven sell the standard version of this, which I imagine is excellent at £60. This, on the other hand, cost £110, quid. well, £109 and a few pence. And it doesn't perform any better than any other brace. However, if you look at it, it's an absolutely beautiful piece of equipment. The fit and finish of this thing is beautiful. So all of the black parts are a tool steel that has been blued like you do on a gun barrel. And the bluing is really even and consistent throughout. There's some marks here, but they're not actually in the bluing. That's some sticky stuff left over from a label that was on it that I haven't managed to get off yet. But other than that, so all the black parts are really nice. All the brass parts are really well machined. 
and the wood on it is absolutely stunning it's a really nice finish i mean don't get me wrong it's a bit dusty because it's been in use so workshop heaven sell this as the deluxe model and nowhere in their marketing for this do they claim that it performs any better than anything else it is basically just a a nice shiny bit of bling and they charge a lot more for it however the fit and finish of it is right up there with the best tools you can get and it really does look beautiful and for that reason i think that this is really worth the money i think i think the beauty of this is a justifiable reason to spend the amount of money they're asking for it so that's the fit and finish of the saw as i said the fitment of all the parts is really good but for the price that i paid i'm really not happy with the finish of it so now let's take a look at how it performs so I've just marked out some dovetails in here and we'll have a quick go at cutting them out. Gone a little bit below the line there. Right. So there you can see how close to the line you can cut with this new concept saw. Now, ignore these bits where I went too far with the dovetail saw. So I'll just quickly pair these and then we will see how quick it is to cut larger waste out. So there, you saw the saw in action, you saw that it is quick and precise, you can slide it right down into a kerf and just flip it round in the width of the um, fret saw blade and you can cut really close to the line. So in terms of function I think that it is by a very large margin the absolute best fret saw on the market. Do I think it's worth the cost then? Well yes and no i think that the finish is nowhere near good enough for a saw costing this amount of money and in that respect it is absolutely not worth the asking price there are tools out there with far better finishes at a cheaper price however the way that it performs it, it outperforms every fret saw or coping saw i've ever used thanks to the space frame chassis being really stiff and sturdy keeping the saw blade ultra tight the blade changes are quick easy and consistent you just flip the lever down undo the clamps take the blade out put the new blade in and clamp it up with these and flip the lever back up and you've got exactly the same tension so it will perform exactly the same way because of this it allows you to be far more accurate and a lot quicker as well 
So for the ease of use and the time served and the performance it gives, then yes, I absolutely do think it's worth the money. Sort of. I need to clarify that. I think if new concepts had genuine competitors, then this would be worth about 50 quid, given a, a good normal for it, so I can be had for about 20 quid. So yeah, it's definitely worth paying more than others. However, they don't have any competitors, so you're limited in the market, which is why they can charge what they're charging. So I think a more reasonable question rather than is it worth it, is do I regret buying it? And the short answer to that is no. It's already serving a massive amount of time, making my workflow easier and quicker and more accurate, which then saves work with chiseling. So I don't regret it. Take that how you will. In short, it's a fantastic performance saw, but given the price, I think you might be disappointed with the quality of the aesthetics but it does perform very, very well. So, as I said, take that as you will. Make your own choice. Spend your money if you want. You will and won't regret it at the same time, I think. And that's about all I've got to say on it. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, found it informative, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.